Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this Invato Elements tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the So Painted Photoshop action in Adobe Photoshop. So to start with, what you will need for this tutorial is a subscription to Invato Elements. If you've never heard of it before and you're thinking, what on earth is he talking about? Basically, it's a service for designers where you get access to thousands of different assets and it's all wrapped up within a monthly subscription. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. It's really, really good. And uh, so this is a so painted Photoshop action we're going to be using today. And just go ahead and click download once you've signed up and signed in and select trial use because we're just doing this for fun and go ahead and click download for trial use. And it will download a zip folder like this and you can just double click to extract that. And you'll see there's a folder and in that folder we have a few things. So we have a manual and we've got some instructions, some tutorial videos, so that's all really helpful. And of course we have the so painted file itself. So this is a .atn file, that's an action file in Photoshop, and you can double click on this to install that action, or you can go into Photoshop, go to your actions panel, and you can get to there from window down to actions, and then from the top right, you can go down to load actions, and then just navigate to that file. And then it will install that file here, you can see, so painted is listed. And the great thing about using these actions to create these effects is that these are quite complicated effects and you can create them within seconds just by installing this action. And you get some options as well. So you have low, medium to low, medium, medium to strong, strong, and then you get some extra effects as well. And essentially, this is the strength of the painted effect that we're going to be using. So if we select strong, for example, it's going to look really painted. And if we use low, it'll be a bit more subtle. For this tutorial, we're going to go for medium. So I've opened up my image here. It's currently flattened as a background layer. If you don't know how to flatten your whole composition into one single layer, and I'll show you. So we've got some different layers here. Just go up to layer at the top and then down all the way to the bottom to flatten image. And it will just flatten that into a single layer called background that is now locked. So with that selected, open up your actions panel and select one of the so painted effects. So I'm going to go for medium and simply navigate down to the bottom and select the play icon. And depending on the power of your computer, it might take a few seconds to a few minutes while it kind of runs through all of the different steps involved in that action to create this effect. And the great thing about this as well, as you'll see in a minute, is that it not only creates the effect, but it layers everything nicely as well. So we could turn certain elements of the effect on and off as we like. There we go. So at the end, you'll see render complete and just click stop. And we now have an awesome painted effect. I absolutely love this. This is so cool. So if we switch over from our actions panel to our layers panel, we can see that it's layered it up like so. So we have our original image here and I can turn on the painted medium effect. Remember that's the medium setting that we chose at the beginning and you can see the painted effect in all its glory. And if you click this drop down, we get a few extra options. So we can turn off all of these settings here. Everything in the green folder is related to the painted effect. And we can turn on smooth painted effect, a little bit more subtle. I absolutely love this, it's really subtle. It doesn't look quite look like a photo, but it doesn't look like a painting either. It's somewhere in between. We've got light details, so a few extra details around the eyes and the hair there or we can turn on the main painted effect and we get the full shebang, the full effect in all its glory. And there we go, that's how to use the so painted action in Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. I'll leave links also in the description if you'd like to sign up to Envato Elements or if you'd like to download the action used in this tutorial. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.